Today, as you might be able to tell from looking at the thumbnail, we're shooting my 460 S and W mag. We are going to be comparing three different loads. We've got the 45 Long Colt, we've got the 454 Kazool, and we have the 460 S and W mag. Now, what I'm going to do is go in backwards order rather than least to the greatest. We're going to go from the greatest to the least. And we're going to show you the kick. A lot of you guys out there have been writing to me in the comments saying that, you know, when I shoot, boom, I'm like way over exaggerating how much the gun kicks. Eh, I might be, I might not be. We'll never know. But I will try very hard to just pull the trigger and you guys can see how much this gun kicks and I will try to make sure that I don't over exaggerate the kick but we're going to start out with the 460 mag let's get shooting now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to show you a couple of normal everyday rifle calibers compared to this 460 now here is your typical 556 and here is your typical 22250 here is a 308 now, I'm gonna set these down so you guys can get a good comparison on the size of that 460 okay here is your 556 here is your 22250. Here is the 308. And along comes a spider and sits down beside her. Look at that baby. There is your 460 S and W mag. Look at that monster. Alright, so let's get to shooting. Hey, first of all, you guys can have a side view of me shooting the 460 mag so you can see how much of a kick it has. And then I'll turn you down there so you can see when we hit the water jug with it, what kind of damage we do to the water jug. Here we go. Not too bad, really. Now let's watch that water jug. But it looks like we totally ripped the side out of the first one. And I can see right in there, you guys can see that little piece of the copper jacket. We hit the second one. Looks like we ripped it out pretty darn good. No pieces of, well, there's a little piece of lead inside there. Got the third one, and it's still leaking out, so I bet you that bullet is in the third one. Let's find out. Okay, we've got right here a piece of uh, jacket right here whoo man that piece of lead that's a big old hunking piece of lead right there now, once again i'm going to have you watch me from the side so you can see how much of a kick the 454 kazool has my dad it's an itch my dad told me when i was like 14 oh dude that 454 Kazool is the biggest gun. It'll blow your arm off. I don't think so. Let's uh, shoot it and find out. Yeah, I mean, you know, felt it a little bit. Not as strong as the 460. But it's still cool. Let's look at what we do to them water jugs. Woo! 
Holy moly. I think we went through every one of them. Now that's just what I thought would happen with cowboy load because it's just a solid chunk of lead and I think we went through every water jug. Let's go down there and look. Well, I'm getting the ground pretty uh, soaking wet over here. You can see we totally blew the side out of that one. I can see where it went into the second one. That little hole on the front and then it blew the side out of that one. Then it hit the third one right there and it looks like of course went right through that there's the fourth one water still leaking out of that one the fifth one and the sixth one uh, let's see if it went through the sixth one that's all we can do there's the hole in the sixth one one out the front one out the back so it blew into the tree here, that 454 Kazool is no joke. We went through, what did we go through? Six jugs of water, it blew through all six of them. Okay, now we've got the 45 Long Colt. This should be really tame. Nothing at all. Dude, 45 long, sweet ass gun, but no kick. It's sweet. Let's see what we do to them jugs. I got 10 of them lined up. Hopefully it'll stop this cowboy load. <laughs> Woo! Looked like a good one. All right, we're blasting water all over. It's clear down here in the grass. I'm gonna try to walk up on this little bank here. I don't want to get my feet getting soaking wet. But, there's the first one. Right here. Ripped it up pretty good. There's the second one. Pretty much blew the side out of that one. Went in the side of this one right there. You can see, I hope you guys can see that hole right there. Then it went into the next one right there. Easy to see that one. Oh, okay, it came out the side right here, but somehow managed to hit this one right here. So I don't know if it's in that one or if it came out. These back jugs look like they're okay, but I know it's not in that one. Let's look in this one here. It may have blew out that side. I do not see anything in there. So it went out the side over here somewhere. We have one, two, three, four, five left so out of 10 jugs it went through five cruised out the side pretty cool but that's a hard cast cowboy load for you let's get to the bonus any guesses what that is well that 454 kazool is definitely no slouch down there and i did happen to find the slug from the 45 long colt um, it was in one of those jugs, but as you've seen the 454 Kazool is long gone We'll have to do another test and I've got like 12 or 15 Water jugs to see if we can even stop that baby, but I have got set up down here 20 pumpkin pie cans in a row. I don't know if the 454 will deviate You know and go out the side of one of those cans but I figured if it doesn't, hopefully 20 cans will be enough to stop a 454 Kazool. Let's get to shooting. <laughs> Still raining. We blew that one out. Oh, look at that. It went into that water jug. Holy crap. So, got that one. Got that one. 
Went through that one. I'm getting dripped on. The tree's dripping on me. Went through the bottom of that one. Went through the bottom of this one, and you can see it skimmed over this way. So that one's no good. But it skimmed over this way, and it hit this water jug right here. And I am prepared to bet that that 454 Kazool is still inside this water jug. Let's open it up and find out. Got it. Look at that. That is crazy. That is a 454 Kazool. Deformed it a bit. Got some red marks on the grooves here. Sweet, dudes! Looks like, well, we definitely went through four. Because that one's empty, that one's empty. The next one's empty, and this one is empty. But, there's, oh, look, there's the lead right there. There is the piece of lead right there. This is Gunman 66. You guys have a fantastic day. 